Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be looking how to overexpose and give your um, scene a high key lighting um, effect within Blender. So this isn't using any Photoshop or anything like that and there's no nodes required. You can overexpose and use exposure in the uh, node setup but I'll show you how to do it under the film tab that we looked at a few tutorials ago. So I've got my scene here, my house scene, let me show you. This scene here, and uh, this is really high key lighting and overexposed, um, but I'm just gonna show you how to do this. So when I originally had this, it was something like that. That is how it looked before. And that's a very standard light, maybe maybe a bit too dark in some areas, but that is how it, I usually like light my scenes, like this moderate lighting. But I wanted to um, give this image a bit of a, uh, some emphasis and some difference. So the way I did this is you go over to the um, scene tab here and under college management here you first want to change your render to um, your render view to film and then you've got these two options here exposure and gamma and you can lower or higher these depending on how you like you can make it completely white if you like you can And tiny, you can just go ex extremely low, which that kind of looks interesting. To extremely light, obviously. So you can change these to suit your thing. I got the settings that were for my scene on these notes here, so it was um, three point oh four eight and 0.952 yeah so those were the settings for my thing and as you see it alters here you can also go down here and you can um, hold control and you can go up and down the different looks and some can improve your image I, I like this I'd also lower the exposure on this one but that's really interesting and you can also this also gives you control over a curves um, node you can alter your changes with curves and that gives it um, something else to play around with but that's basically how you overexpose your image uh, just using the college management tab here But I'm going into the scene here and I'll just show you my lighting setup for this so I used one light, or two lights, sorry. The first light is just a little spot lamp here, which just makes this area a bit lighter. And the next light is this backlight here. This is an area light with um, obviously white as the color and the strength is 100. And I've got cast shadow set and the max bounces is 1.1024 and the size is 0.1. And this is a backlight, not a front light, so the light source is coming from the back. And I'm pretty sure I've got, yes, and then I also have on top of this, I've got a environment texture here, which I have hooked up to a, pretty sure it's got a compositing note. No? I have this uh, environment texture and I've just dead edited down here because if you just have an environment texture it's going to come out really pixely. To change this you want to change the surface down here, turn on multiple importance and change the first one to 2048 and that's what I did for mine. So these are the settings I use to um, overexpose or give it a high key lighting uh, look. 
I would highly recommend watching some of Gleb Alexandrov's videos on all of his lighting, it's amazing. I used a very cut back version of his in this scene, um, but yeah, I learned most, most of my lighting from him, and I'm still not an amazing uh, person with lighting. But anyway, hope you learned how to overexpose your images within Photoshop, uh, within Blender. Let me show you a quick other way. It's under the nodes in compositing, and you just literally search um, X. Oh, what is it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's gamma here. And of course, that will change it as well. And there's another one, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, under color correction you can also change the gamma here, and also the gain is also quite useful. But I think this is the only setting for exposure under color management. Now this little pane here is really awesome and can make your work look so much better if you use it. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll catch you in my next video.